okay, here we go again, guys. Hey guys, the Black Critic Guy here with episode 3, or part 3 of a relatively ongoing series where I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. And the last part we left off is I'm making a new poem again, and this time I'm going to pick words that I feel like are more suited towards Natsuki. I'm doing this in honor of uh, my best friend uh, in the world, uh, Ben Tuttle. Uh, if, you're, if you're out there, Ben, uh, I miss you dearly, and uh, I, I don't know why you're ignoring me, man. I, I thought we were friends. I thought we had something special together. Why'd you leave me, Ben? Being overly dramatic aside, let's go ahead and get into this game. Okay, so we have to pick words that might be more suited for Natsuki. So, childhood, ocean, whisper, loud, marriage, mouse. Okay, I think mouse. Yeah! Okay. Um, sunset. Fuck. Uh, um, playground. Yeah, let's see. Uh, imagination, anime, anime. Yes. Okay, kitty. Uh, milk. Fireworks. Oh man. Um, shiny. Let's see. Parfait, sweet, friends, lust, sadness. Uh, uh sweet. Which one should I pick? Oh, I don't know. Parfait. Sweet. Parfait. Parfait. Yes! Okay. Um, uh, Papa. Bunny? Yes, yes. We're doing good. Firefly. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um, s socks. Um. Broken, heaven sent. Heaven sent? That's too big of a word. Clouds. Rose. No. Waterfall? Waterfall. Yes. Uh, okay, don't pick. Um, candy. Kawaii. Um, ribbon? Ribbon. Okay. Uh, games. Let's see. Adventure? Marshmallow. Yes! Okay, so t three of the, the the many that I picked were for um, Saori, but I think I got enough to where I can get Natsuki. So another day passes. It's time for a club meeting already. I've got a little more comfortable here out uh, over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Yigida Millennia. Yo, Saori, what up, bitch? <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being to you being in the club is all. I see. And that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess that I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's all here for you. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. I'm trying I'm trying to watch my weight, you know, I'm trying to, you know, cut down on the carbs. Why don't we take a good why don't we take a look at your purse, sorry? Eh? Why why th why that all of a sudden? No reason really. Just wanted to look at it. Uh <laughs> sorry nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles the latch and gets it open. Yep, it's empty. Let's its contents spill into the floor. Only two two small coins pop out. <laughs> so see, you were gonna ask me to buy you something. Oh, you sneaky girl, you! I knew it. I can see right through you, sorry. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that you could, so I could lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Wow, you got me. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. 
Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yeah, sure, sure you weren't listening. Yuri! Tell you get a millennia to let me borrow some money. That... Don't get me involved in that, sorry. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting the a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just? I I didn't mean I didn't mean that. <laughs> I got too absorbed in my into my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much. But it's fun. It's the fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. The, the revolution? Retribution. <laughs> that. Still, coming from you, sorry. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> God, she really does like to talk about dark stuff. Don't let her fool you. Sorry knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before. Oh, what's this? So sorry, something just popped up. The fuck was that? So something just popped up. What in the hell was that? Sorry guys, something like popped up like a black screen. I don't know if it showed in the video, but it was weird. Anyway, but... I wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Saori. <laughs> Ooh, someone got slapped. Gah! Out of nowhere, something smacked Saori in the face and tumbled onto the desk. Ow, what was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sorry, glanced around. It, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ah, I was going to give it to you. But then I heard you blob about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki. That's so nice of you. After you threw it in my face. I'm so happy. Saori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Saori rapidly tears o tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Saori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Hee hee hee. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! <laughs> she gets she gets a free cookie and then she asks to eat somebody else's. God, do you have no no uh shame? Come on, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly, exactly. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sorry gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. What's up with this hug? Ah, jeez. I get it. I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches reaches up to nudge Sari off of her. Oof! Sari suddenly leans down and takes a bite. Oh, that's cute. Why did they show that? That was that would have been cute. Takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Uh, hey! Did you seriously do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally worth it. Mouthful. <laughs> Sari trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sori? Eh. Natsuki glances around. 
Monica isn't in the classroom. Ugh! Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard... Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Haven't heard anything. Uh, yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. She probably is more desirable than all of us combined. I will never get the logic of anime girl characters pro proclaiming how uncute they are. I, I'm i sure that might be just a girl thing because I've heard girls in real life do that too. Like, oh, Tony, I'm not that pretty. You know, that's, it's not, I'm not that good looking. And then they're like doing like a model shoot. <laughs> like, oh, really? You're not that pretty? Mm, oh, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super late. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica choose, chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically, quizzically glances at me. Uh, ne never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of got lost. I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You have, you would have heard the bell at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at, as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I just, I just, or I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is, is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, you get a millennia. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, I didn't mean... I didn't mean any pressure or anything. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. Oh, shit, I didn't read that. No, not really. I choose to leave out Sorry's mischievous uh, escapade. Escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Saori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back in her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Ugh! I heard Natsuki utter an, ex an exasperated sigh from within the closet. It seemed... She seemed annoyed by something. I approach her in case... Oh, something. Right, here we go. You looking for something in there? Ah, oh, sweet. Here we go. Here comes the Natsuki route. Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things that you can't admittedly... You can't admit you're really into it until... Ugh, I'm terrible at reading. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Am, am I that obvious to read? What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stacked, a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, oh, much better. See, or seeing the box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. 
I get closer. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the latter. If you're going to judge, you can go to it. You can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Yigida Millennia. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the volume of Parfait Girl from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hand. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Well, Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. From out of the closet, then she takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? I, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't just say that! <laughs> Look at that typical Sunday face. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scoots an inch away from me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? Don't you go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really, nothing's really happening, so I can talk at the same time. Hey, that's very similar to this game. <laughs> It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew up with these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make make up for the lack of plot. Hey! Somebody finally understands me. That's exactly how I feel about slice of life anime. <laughs> so, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot, you idiot? I mean, I, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they obsess with a guy at an ice cream shop. But that just helps to get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and so when some of the romances start to happen. That's what, or pff, can't read. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. By the way, why isn't it like a cut? Like, why aren't they doing what they did with Saori and um, Yuri? Where there's like a cut where it's just them in a different pose. Why is it like the traditional, like, I'm um, standing in front of the classroom kind of thing? I thought it would actually be us sitting under the windowsill. That would have been cute. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hee hee hee. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh. <laughs> uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> hmm, good save. Uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. 
Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you're enjoying baking too. That's just coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. Like I would, I would, e like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. <laughs> wow, you couldn't be more obvious to read. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she really, she really, she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We read on for a few more minutes. Uh, this, I don't really think that this is a cute pose. It's, it's okay, but it's not that cute. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring to you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something that you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't. Um, oh! I saw her eyes move there. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? I don't share... Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. But, e but I can't even bring up... I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still read or you still haven't grown out of that. Makes me want to punch them in the face. I know your feel. I, I know the feel girl. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to make to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards other losers over time. It's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, it, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it, keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if I found if he found this. At least it's safe here in the clubhouse or clubroom. Except Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not its not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Ooh. So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a bit bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast from her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Cock block! Didn't she do the same? She did the same thing last time. No, no, no. No, it was Sayori. Sayori was the cock blocker last time. This time it's... It's, um... Oh, shoot. Really? I forgot her name already? Monica. Monica. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Thought you do... Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh. Ah! 
Natsuki su suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. I guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that it's nece it's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then, I stand up. I return to where my stuff to I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slide the book into my bag. Okay, so this is where we pick the poem. So I guess I'm gonna end this episode here. Um eh, Romancing Natsuki is okay. I, I don't I don't get the appeal, Ben. I'm sorry. I think Yuri was far more fun to romance. I loved her cute. I loved her cute face. I loved the dialogue that they shared between each other. It was just it was perfect to me. The Natsuki one was eh, it's okay. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. And if you guys want, because I don't know if I'm gonna continue it from this point on. So if you guys truly want me to continue this let me know in the comment section below and then i'll try to do another part and try to close off the series so do let me know in the comments guys if you want me to continue doing this and stay tuned more videos are on their way i want to take this time in person to thank all the people who graciously donated to my patreon account it's because of your generous general we say that again it's because of your generous donations that I'm able to make videos such as these. And if you'd like to support the Black Credit Guy just a smidge more, guys, why not donate to my Patreon account? There's a link in the description. And as always, guys, if you'd like to see more videos this channel, be part of the Black Critic Crew, please hit that subscribe button below. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And I'm Tony Watt II, the romance lover known as the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace, YouTube!